Hello folks, my name is Rojo, and welcome back to Wizardry 6. We're starting right where we left off last time. And, uh, we need to find out somewhere to go to actually make some progress here. I actually don't remember exactly where to go, so... It's, uh, gonna be a little bit of a, an adventure, which is sort of the point of the game. If you ask me. Now then, uh, we did explore this bottom level last time. But I'm wondering if maybe there's a, a way to go over here. Oh man, look at all those plants. Six vines. Uh, we shall fight said vines. Hopefully they're just regular ass vines instead of the kind that will absolutely annihilate us. Uh, go ahead. No, nope, wrong person. We will have you fight. You will fight. You will use your loot. Begin. Oh, she died. <laughs> <laughs> what a start. They hit the fairy. You're not allowed to hit the fairy. What's the matter with you? These guys, these vines are usually like, they're not very tough. They die pretty quick. At least most types of vines do, at least that I've found in the game. We'll just finish this fight up. It'll be faster than running, probably. And uh, we'll probably have to reload, because we can't, like I said in, a, in one of the first episodes, we really can't have people die yet. Not at this level. It's too soon. Holds us back from our, uh, um, our ability to level up into new classes. So it's kind of a, kind of a important to, to not. What we can do though is we can actually if we go this way instead. We can actually get a little bit closer to that area that we're interested in going to. So around like this and maybe check out what's down here like so I'm not sure uh, what's down here actually I guess we're gonna find out we have a great we have a great and we have a black steel skull cast upon the face of the the massive door stares blankly out into the corridor the eye sockets are unnaturally deep as if the skull once held a pair of jewels okay so we can't do anything with that yet. So I guess we're gonna have to start trying to unlock some doors, which is probably not gonna work, <laughs> if I had to guess. Uh, do, what was what was over here again? Right, 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 right. Okay, that's uh, like another tower uh, that we're not interested in going up just yet. All right, well, let's come down here and let's see maybe if we can start unlocking some doors. Like so. Uh, so what we do is we go to open. We will pick said door with Elise. She can't even like possibly succeed, so we shall reload the game and uh, go all the way back down here. Unfortunately, her skull doggery is only at three, so it's pretty unlikely that she'll be able to um, open any of these doors right now. But we're gonna try. Yeah, that's the, the result I expect. The problem is, the reason I'm, I'm reloading is because if uh, you fail, sometimes the doors get jammed and then they can't be picked at all, which means we got to get keys, uh, which is probably not likely to happen um, just yet. Ow. So I'm just looking for like any door that maybe she could pick here. Um, just to uh, kind of get us in somewhere like she has. No, no chance of that one. Oh, nope, don't want to do that. And then there is another one right here. Can you open this one? Some of these are definitely easier than others. Um, these ones are apparently all too difficult. So, <laughs> so um, I think what we have to do... What uh, There's a tower that we haven't been in yet. I'm sure of this. Um, the question is, where is it? We went up here, and we f what, what do we even find up here? There's more stairs over there. Is this the... This is... Hang on. Hang on a minute. Is this the one with the... Uh... Okay, all right. This So this is actually a different thing than I, than I thought it was. Ow. So Ow. then what is... Uh... If we go down to uh, 
No, no, I was going up. I want to go down. My mistake. What am I doing? We go down to here again. And uh, we go to here. What is, um, what is upstairs over here? Because there's a way... Oh, I see. Okay, yeah. This is the one where the shit falls on us. Right, okay. And then a grate. So we can't do anything with that. All right. Um, well, <laughs> I I have made it up here without everybody dying before, but it's kind of a matter of who gets hit and for how much, obviously. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, we made it! I'm saving it. Let's search. Inspecting the rafter is unclear whether the falling beam was a booby trap or whether it fell due to decay among the support timbers. So that will not fall on us again, I think. Yes, we're safe. We are safe from the trap. That's good. That uh, allows us to progress a little bit here. Just kind of take a look around. See what we got on this tower up here. Gonna save at every available opportunity. Plumes of smoke arise from fiery pits far to the west, testament to an era which should have passed long ago. Interesting, interesting. There should be uh, some loot up here, though, if I'm not mistaken. Probably right through here. Let us save. Some fights are static in this game, meaning that you'll encounter monsters on a specific tile all the time. Those monsters that you do encounter are, are often... Uh, different, but, um, she doesn't have any magic yet right now. Uh, she, uh, but, uh, yeah, the, the monster encounters are different, so you can kind of reload if you kind of get a really raw, uh, raw deal. We'll do that. We'll do some kicks. We'll do some shooting the thing. Uh, I'm not going to bother to do, uh, a spell here. It's going to bash and loot. Start fighting. No penetration. Thank God. Stop hitting my fairy. God damn you. Ooh, these are the nasty, uh... Yeah, these are the nasty ones. Please put them all to sleep. Good. Because everybody else on our par in our party is, is sleeping right now, practically. Uh... Well... Best of luck. We need our guys to wake up, but we don't really have the ability to do that at the moment, unfortunately. So we'll just... Keep uh, try to keep these guys on lockdown as best we can, and let uh, Gertrude kind of clean house um, with the uh, the sort of striking here. It's not an ideal solution, but it will work probably. There we go, and let's try. Oh no, excuse me. Oh, and, ah, I see. Nerve is awake now. Excellent. That's two people we can have attack. Probably shouldn't have even bothered you using the thing there, man. 18 damage. So we got, like, the potential is there for us to, uh, to, uh, do the big damage. But it's gonna take a little bit of luck right now. Glad that she's going first, though. She's got a, apparently has a decent enough speed. But, uh, yeah, these guys should die the next little bit here. So that will allow us to. See what kind of stuff they're regarding. I think there's something up here. Uh, we're just going to keep going with the strong attacks, I think. Man, Alima, if you could, I don't know, just wake up and join the fight any time would be just fantastic, really. And don't have anybody die now. That would be the worst. There we go. She's awake. My, my verbal abuse uh, got her attention, apparently. Nice. Good damage. And, ah, uh, we woke him up. Don't lose it now. Oh, no. Uh, rest, back up, fight, bash, use the loot. All right, so we just put some more people to sleep. That's annoying, but not the end of the world. We shall continue to fight. We might run out of arrows eventually here, but we can always buy some more. There we go. Good job, Lima. You've redeemed yourself. 250 XP. That's going to be a level for somebody, sure. So nice. Nerv no longer. Nerv no longer has four hit points. <laughs> That's important. He's uh don't, didn't get very many skill points to distribute this time around. This is uh this is an important skill. This is our critical hit skill. Um, roughly, I think every point is uh 
0.2% uh, chance to instantly kill an enemy that he hits. Uh, so uh, once you get it up to 100, you have a 20% chance. That's important. We're going to have every character have uh, some points in this skill. For now, though, I am going to put one point in Thaumaturgy, uh, just because that's going to give him the opportunity to maybe learn some spells a little bit later. And uh, we'll start leveling that up some more. Oh, good. Ulu leveled up. Elise leveled up. She's got six hit points now. Blowing the doors off. Ulu actually didn't get to distribute any points because some sometimes points get distributed for you if certain uh, sort of primary class skills are too low. So uh, that's what happened there. It's not the end of the world. It's not good. But it's not the end of the world. Uh, her music skill is doing really well. We're going to put all these points into skill Duggery so we can uh, hopefully get some uh, some good stuff going with our... With our, uh, our lock picking here. The Palace of Old Debris crowned the small tower room. Most of it looking quite rotted, which is not surprising. Seems to be a recurring theme here. Nothing in the, uh, nothing in there. However, yes, search. Aha, crusty old chest. Let us save the game. Let us open this chest, inspect with Elise. So it is trapped. But she doesn't know what the trap is. We can try inspecting with some other people, though. But nobody else has Skullduggery, so I'm not expecting great things. Oh, there we go. We got a little bit. So the way this works is um, we get letters of the name of the trap, and based on the letters we have, we have to uh, figure it out. So the green letters are definitely letters that are in there. Red letters, I believe, are just wrong letters, um, so we can't make any de determination about whether or not they're in the, the name of the trap or not. So we have OSD. Elise is going to open it. OSD. Well, there's no S in that one. There is a D in there. OSD. So it could be Vorpal Blades or it could be Poison Dagger. Uh, I'm going to guess Poison Dagger. It was triggered! Ow, Vorpal Blades. Ow, ow, Everybody ow, takes a shitload ow, of damage. Ow. And then we find some stuff. So <laughs> we'll try that again. This is actually good, though. It'll help Elise's Skullduggery skill, assuming we can actually get her to survive uh, the uh, the process here. So let's try that again. I actually rather kind of like this uh, this uh, trap mini game. Let's inspect again. We'll uh, start with Elise here. G.I. And let's keep going with everybody else. Lima. We got an O in there. And we have a star. <laughs> I don't remember exactly what the star means. I'll have to look at the manual to, to remember exactly how the trapping uh, system is. But uh, we shall try to disarm. Uh, we can also just open it with a spell, uh, which will bypass traps, I think, most of the time. Or maybe they won't. I think they do. Um, but we'll have at least do another try here. Oh, I, I forgot what the thing was. There's a G in there, uh, which means I think it has to be Poison Dagger this time. Yeah. So now we got the stuff. Cloth shirt, cloth pants, two iron keys. I don't mind it. These keys we can use to open up some stuff in case doors get jammed downstairs, I think. I think that's what they're for. So uh, we'll give Elise our keys, since she's going to be our skull dugger. And uh, I'm going to give her the cloth shirt and cloth pants, too. I'm not sure if she can wear those, though. I don't think she can. But, um, yeah, the, the loot in some chests is static. The loot in others is not. Just something to keep in mind. Um, I'm also going to have Fenpo go ahead and uh, drop a heal wounds on Gertrude here. Now then, let us uh, review Elise's equipment real quick. Yeah, she starts with cloth, but she can't. She can't wear cloth. I think is how that goes. Uh, yes, F for fairy. In the in this case, there's also Felper further to the right, which is green, but. Uh, yeah, sadly, she cannot wear it, so we'll, uh, we'll have to keep a, an eye out for some different gear for her. But uh, that's everything that's up here, actually, I think. Not bad. We made some progress. Feels good. Uh, as soon as we get everybody to, like, level two, we should be in a little bit better position to go fight those nasty bats uh, in the other tower. One hopes. But also with our newfound Skullduggery skill, maybe we can open up some locks. Let's try. Uh, and actually, I'm curious. Let's uh, review her skills. She has 
Uh, physical skills. Yeah, she see she only had like five, and she got two from disarming that trap and inspecting. I think is how that went. So maybe, maybe, maybe she can open up one of these doors now. She's got a chance. <gasps> Basically, we need it's it's weird because it's by the manual it, it makes it sound like you're supposed to be able to time this, but from reading anecdotes from people who have played this game on the original platforms, uh, you never could. So, uh, it's just luck of the draw. Failure. Yeah, now see one of the tumblers is jammed, so the door is jammed. We can never pick it again. So we shall try, uh, maybe once or twice more here. But it's good to know we're, you know, we're finally, whoop. Uh, da 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 da. There we go. Um, good to know we're actually making some progress here, though. Failure. Try again. Yeah. So, I mean, she's definitely, she got a chance to do it. Don't want to do that. Resume save game. All right. Try one more time here. Oh, she can't do it this time. All right. Well, uh, we will uh, try the other door, I guess. Just uh, to kind of see what we can do here. Okay. Open. Pick. Release. Ugh, not a very good chance on this one. Ooh, almost though. It looked like it was pretty good. Uh, we'll try again. Uh, Tumblr's probably jammed. Yeah. Actually, I guess it wasn't, but it probably is now. <laughs> uh. Okay. Well, we'll uh. Come back to uh to these doors later. Oh, we got an encounter. Maybe levels. We shall see. There we go. Rats are now sleepy time. Makes our life so much easier. One dead rat. Not very much XP uh, from these guys, I'm expecting, but might be just enough. Eh, maybe not. Not with 50. <laughs> um, whoop. All right. So let's uh, let's go, I think, uh, probably... Oh, well, we'll fight some more rats, apparently. Um, I was going to say, let's go to these other doors that were sort of to the southern area here, um, or in the southern area, I guess I should say. Ow. Ow! Don't hit my people. Oh, she critted! That's our first crit of the game, I think. I think she's got a really low crit chance, too, so it's amusing that it even worked, but uh, I'm not uh, I'm not complaining. Don't get me wrong. Man, no penetration. There we go. Good job, Fempo. You're the best. Hey, she got a ninja level. That's excellent. A few more HP is nice, and uh, not many skill points to uh, to distribute at uh, this time. It's all right. Her ninjutsu's getting up a little bit. Uh, I don't even know how she crits. She has zero points in kirijutsu, so or kirijutsu. Um, that's interesting. Well, I'm gonna give her a point in it now, just to make sure that when we change her class, she can definitely level it up. And Fempo leveled up. That's good. That is actually quite good. So what do we have for options here? Armor, shield, direction, sleep, chilling touch, terror. I'm trying to remember I, if armor shield is the spell that I think it is. I think it's the spell that gives us um, like a party AC buff, but it might not be. Not that it matters a whole lot. Um... So I think I'm going to pick up armor shield. Cost two. Let's uh, let's let's see here. Fempo. Armor shield rank one. Uh, it is not the spell that I thought it was. I don't think no. But it's still it's something to get those earth magic points up. There's not a lot of good earth spells, but there wasn't really a lot that we needed there either. Chill touch is basically the same as energy blast. So um, not something that we really need to worry about. Uh, but we're probably going to get everybody up to, like, level 5-ish in their current classes and uh, kind of see how things are and then switch them to uh, their new classes. That's my thought, anyway. And then I'll have to do some grinding to switch them to their soon-to-be other class. <laughs> but uh, let's uh, let's try opening some more doors here, shall we? She cannot open this door. Very well. So let's try... Uh, oh, well, let's try fighting these guys, I guess. Fuming Vines again, man. These guys are showing up a lot more than usual. That might be a product of playing on Expert. 
Uh, no, not you. Spell. Uh, might as well energy blaster. I don't think there's any reason to be coy with these particular enemies. Ow. At least we have some hit points now, so we don't necessarily die in, uh, like, one hit. These, uh, yeah, this falling asleep stuff is as annoying for me as it probably is for them. <laughs> we have four people asleep now. Uh, so I guess I'm just gonna have her try and fight. One damage is not really the coup that I was looking for here. Bash, just use the loot. The more she uses the loot, though, uh, the, the better off we are in the long run for now. She's not going to be our, 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 our uh, long-term bard anyway, but um, the sooner she gets 50, I think it's 51 points in loot, or in music rather, uh, the sooner she will have more points to distribute when she levels up. Because uh, that's one of her primary class skills. If it's under 51 for your primary... Let me rephrase. If, if one of your primary class skills is under uh, 51 points, then sometimes some of your skill points will be automatically distributed into that class skill, uh, even if you don't want them to be. So uh, this practice is is good, I think. Better, better than increasing her throwing skill, at the very least. Uh, so I don't, I don't mind it. She's already made very good progress on it. There we go. And the reason that we're doing so much switching of classes is because expert is not fair. <laughs> for, for one, as you've probably seen. But uh, two, it gives us, because uh, it's not fair, we're going to need more skill points. And uh, the instant kill uh, skill is also very useful because enemies are, you know, they're fairly challenging. But um, the uh, yeah, the main thing is more skill points for people, for me anyway. Uh, we'll see how that, that pans out. 250 XP is nice. Uh, no more levels. I think everybody's level 2 now, though. So that's uh, that's good. I'm actually going to... Uh, let's see. Spell, you, cast that one on yourself. And let's rest. We're getting kind of low on stam here, so... Ooh. Two rogues, you say. Kick... Oh shit, our bard's asleep though, that's bad. Ow. 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 Well, at least we can not instantly die, but this isn't good. Um. Ow. Ow. If you could stop Ow. hitting my characters, I would very much appreciate that. Okay, there we go. We got our. Everybody's awake now, at the very least. Uh, I'm just gonna have everybody do regular attacks, actually, for the, for the moment. Uh, he can cast heal wounds on somebody. He's cast it on Gertrude. Um, oops, no, I want her to use the loot. That's our only chance of survival here. There we go. All right, we might live through this yet. There we go. One dead rogue. Not two dead rogues yet, though. That makes me a little bit nervous. Try again here. Uh, I'm gonna energy blast this guy, and we're gonna use our loot again. There we go. Interesting thing about spells in this game, they can miscast. Oh, we got suede pants. That's cool. We'll, uh, I don't know, give those Gertrude for now. Uh, yeah, you can miscast spells if you try to cast a spell at too high a power level while your oratory skill is too low. Uh, and that's bad. <laughs> that means that you might cast it on your own party members, or the spell might fizzle. So, something to keep in mind. Alright, we got some good rest here. Uh, let's see. How many times can you cast? Ah, good. He can cast heal wounds at level uh, 2 now if he wants to. You can try. Or he can uh, just do two heals here, which is what I'm going to go for. Very important to have at least one person who can cast this spell early on. Uh, well, throughout the entire game, but especially right now. Um... All right, let's go ahead and see about opening some more of these doors, right? Like this one, we're gonna we're gonna try and open this one, I think. So, can you pick it? You cannot pick it. Just kidding, then. Keep doing that. Don't add party member. Resume save game. And uh, that one. No, we want to go to this one. See if we can open this one. Pick with Elise. Oh, so close. Pick with Elise, though. Yes! Ah, oh, boo. Pick with Elise! No! <laughs> Orange Jesus! Stand by my side, please, I beg you. Ah, uh, it's jammed. 
No, we got a good run out of that one, though. She probably got a few skill discovery points, because uh, I think you still get points if you fail. Uh, what am I doing? Save game and resume. That's fine. Uh, open. Pick. Oh, she can't open it this time, now. Uh, oh, this is the force the door. Yeah, nobody's strong enough to force the door, probably. Um, let's try again here. And open. Pick. Release. Just can't get the first tumbler. How do you? How do you not? How how can you get the the second tumbler and not the first one? One wonders. Huh. Very very curious turn of events here. Well, I guess we'll uh, we'll try a different door. There's a couple on the other side as well that we can check out. Open pick. At least, no, still not, uh, still not able to, uh, to pick this door, it looks like. Uh, I can try it again. It does seem to, to change sometimes. Not this one, though. Once we get her up to, like, 20 Skullduggery, we should be able to pick these, uh, fair, I don't want to say super reliably, but, like, we shouldn't have to do this reload dance all the time, which I realize is Ow. probably not ideal. <laughs> viewing material, but uh, that's what we gotta do for now. What am I doing? Get out of there. Uh, open... Actually, no, I guess I do wanna save here real quick. Open. Pick. Release. No, you cannot open this door. Seriously? Come on. Alright, well, we can't open any of these doors. Um, what we will do instead, I guess, is fight these rats, but I was thinking we'd go and try those those hard bats at the top of that other tower now. Let's see if we can uh, sort them out. Assuming we can sort these rats out first. Uh, one hopes. <laughs> one hopes. Uh, go ahead and loot. Alright. They do hit pretty hard, those bats. I think some of them are vampire bats, which is why. Here we go. And one more. Wouldn't be an RPG if you didn't have to fight rats when you're when you're low level, right? Okay. Perfect. Let's uh let's see. I think it might have been uh I think it might have been this one over here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save, I'm gonna rest. Oh, we're gonna fight again apparently. Hopefully our guys wake up sooner than later here. Uh, we will thrust, we will kick, we will cast a heal wound spell on you, and start fighting. Alright. People are starting to wake up here a little bit. The, uh, the modern regeneration thing hasn't really uh, affected us too much yet. It will in the future, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it'll be a little bit. All right. Everybody seems to be awake now. This is good. Excellent. Let us rest again. More enemies, you say? <laughs> okay. I don't necessarily mind it. Uh, just because it'll allow us to, uh, get some of the XP we need. Like, if we get to level 3, we should be able to take out those other bats upstairs without any issue whatsoever. Um, and also, once Elise gets some more Skullduggery, which may happen at level 3, uh, we should be in pretty good shape to, uh, to unlock a lot of doors and make a lot of progress down here, too, so. We're, uh, we're well on our way. The first level is, like, the, the hardest to get. It, it really is. Um... How is your magic? It's an 8. That's not bad. I will accept this. Okay. Let us try. Oh, this is not this isn't even the right tower. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Getting all bad of shape. Uh bent out of shape at the about the, the wrong effing tower here, man. Was it this tower? It's one of these damn towers. But apparently these bats are like, nah, man, we'll come to you. Service with a smile. And use the loot. Ow. Ooh, owie. 
That was a lot of damage from a, uh, from a bat. Okay. Do a bash. I'll just have her do the loot again. Although these are vampire bats. Okay, they're very dangerous. Very lucky to have, be able to put them to sleep the way that we have. Oh, you hit him for one damage and woke him up, you dick. <laughs> what are you thinking? Uh, on the bright side, if we win, we should get some decent XP. So that's something. Ow. Owie. All right, everybody. Uh, everybody attack the bat, please. I, I beg you. Kill it! Kill the, the bat that's motionless in midair! How are you are you missing? Man, nine damage to the bat. Oh no, nine that was nine damage to us, I think. Uh just kidding. Just kidding. Uh we will go ahead and attempt a heal on her. And we will use the loot again. Put the bat to sleep. Excellent. So she's back up in pretty good shape. Let's go ahead and attack with everybody. No penetration. One damage, at least, is the greatest. 357 XP, that's really good. And now we got a, uh, a higher level Valkyrie, level three. It's excellent. 23 sword skill, don't mind it. Uh, I think we put in uh, a couple more points in theology here. And probably put a few points in oratory. Uh, her skills don't really matter. She, I think she, she's eventually going to become a bishop anyway, which means she's going to have theology. I'm just kind of giving her a head start. And I give her a slightly better fighting ability to start off with here. But not much else. Um, I'm not going to bother putting any points into sword, so I'm just going to keep putting points into theology, I guess. Uh, and yeah, it'll be good. And she gets a... Oh, she gets a spell at level three. That's... Uh, I did not realize that, but that's actually really good. Uh, heal wounds, make wounds, stamina, bless, and charm. Bless is actually a really good spell, uh, but I am going to choose heal wounds first. It's kind of the most important, uh, and it's really good to have more, more than one person who can heal <laughs> as well, to be sure. Uh, but anyway, actually, I'm looking at the time. We're, we're actually a little bit over time here, so I guess uh, we will call it an episode here. When we come back, we'll try going up this uh, these stairs again. I think it's this one. It's, it's one of these damn towers, but uh, we'll go up and we'll see if we can kill those uh, those bats that uh, were giving us so much trouble. We're, we're quite a bit tougher now already. So until next time, my name has been Rojo, and thanks for watching.